Welcome to this video in which I am going to present a paper on titled Get the most out of Erasmus Plus with practices based on a research work that is being carried out within the University of Salamanca PhD program on education in the knowledge society with the supervision of Francisco José García Peñalbo. Let's start with a few information related to the investigation. Through this research work, we are looking for good educational practices that have worked adequately in a group of European projects catalogued as good practices or success story and linked with e-learning and information and communications technologies ICT. This presentation focuses on how the research is evolving, so the current state, the progress made in the analysis and the data analysis carried out so far. Regarding the methodology for this research, it follows the guidelines specified in systematic reviews of research projects, which implies four stages, a study definition, a screening definition, project selection and analysis, and presently we are undertaking the analysis phase. Let's go on to review the instruments used for gathering all the data for the analysis. The first step has been to retrieve data of the selected projects from Erasmus Plus Projects Results Platform that allowed us to get many useful data that could help to know better what make those projects successful. The second step for the analysis was a survey already analyzed in previous articles. The survey is divided into six sections regarding the main factors that could help the projects to be classified as good practice, the use of ICT in those projects and their sustainability along the time till today. The third step for the analysis was a semi-structure interview with projects that met those requirements. The first was to know to what extent and in what way teachers and students were involved. The second one was the usefulness of the results achieved in the project and its materials beyond its completion. And the third, their use in the pandemic. In this slide, you can see the stages for the interview. It was developed a common script for all the interviews, although with freedom so that they can express themselves freely without forcing the questions to go in order. All the information gathered has been retrieved by them. The fourth step for the analysis is developing two focus groups, one of school education and another one with the rest of the educational fields. When writing the article, it was in the designing phase, but presently those focus groups have been carried out with a total of 13 coordinators, six, six uh, for school education and seven for the rest of the fields. The following slides present the main goals achieved and the next steps. This slide presents the number of projects involved uh, in the different stages from the very beginning with 1,144 1, projects related to e-learning and all ICT to the 22 that accepted to participate in the interview phase. Some preliminary analysis of the data gathered through all these steps have been done and published in different articles. Regarding the main success factors detected so far, we can highlight a good analysis of the real needs of students and or teachers to tackle innovative topics with real incidence, impact and use in the institutions involved, to adapt and integrate the project in the teaching process it is very important and a good quality and stable relationship with most of the panels. The next stage is to make a deeper analysis of all the data gathered and write and publish the thesis. 
Thank you very much for your interest and I'll be very happy to reply any questions that you may have regarding the paper. Here you can find my contact details.